Welcome, guys. So let's see what we have for Libra for the month of February. So we do have a couple eclipses this month. Okay, so, um, you know, some I've noticed in past readings, like there's been some hot energies, you know, I think for most signs working through stuff that, you know, is always progress, right? We're always trying to go through the channels and step through life, right? And I think for Libra, I think this is a great reading because it's, it's a little more calm. It's a little more... Um, of a, a just a constant flow of you know d good energy so you know watch for the eclipses this month we're walking into february with a new moon in aquarius so you have the princess of swords um coming into february for you libra and i think it this could be a person a younger person who's you know could be somewhat intelligent it's communication um, somebody around you that you have good, clear communication with, somebody that might be giving you good advice that has to do with situations around you. Um, for some of you, you could be the princess of swords yourself, right? Because you are an air sign. And it's to talk things through and have open communication. And she brings this flow of energy of, you know, cutting through the... Um, cutting through any type of turmoil or communication breakdown or any blockages. I feel as though you're coming into the month and you're really um, either talking to people around you that are good for you to, to talk to, very diplomatic, very, um, no, I don't want to just say smart, but focused and good, intelligent conversation. Now, here we go for you guys. This is awesome. You received in the middle position the death card. And so the new you, Libra, has emerged. The, you're shedding your old self. Your old self is shedding. And it's right in the beginning of February. And I think what it is saying in these cards is that um, you have a good nurturing flow of energy and, and psychic. And you're feeling um, very kind of tapped in. You're aligning. You're aligning to what is for you in your path right you've emerged as someone new you you don't want to put up with bullshit you don't want to throw out bullshit you just want to be balanced um work enjoy your family life enjoy people family and friends that are around you with no drama that's what i'm getting out of these cards for some of you you'll be traveling okay you have the prince of cups right here so for those of you who are traveling, um, travel is safe. It looks good. Uh, could be over water or a body of water. Could be long distance, short distance travel. Um, but for those of you who are um, getting ready to travel or take a little vacation or planning a vacation, um, it really looks good. And the new you is going on vacation, guys. This transformation has taken place. Okay, so I think that is one of the core main um projections just out of this reading alone for for libra centric people i think it's you know really a nice energy you're looking into having you know traveling this could be with family um you have the four of wands which is happiness you're enjoying the flow the love the feeling the laughter the communication um and for those of you who are not traveling um this could be getting invited to go places and do things. And what that's doing for you is it's really giving you a creative kick. I think a lot of you are going to be finding a creative path, um, but yet enjoying, you know, fe not feeling such a stagnant energy. You're getting out, you're finding some creative, you know, resources to really um, dig into for yourself that really gives you um, what you're desiring and what, hobbies you like and what brings you love and peace and happiness so i think that's really good for libras this month it's a great reading your underlining um card is the queen of cups like i tipped on that before but i'll go a little bit more into it um this is either a cancer scorpio or pisces um could be rising moon sign around you this could be a mother an aunt a sister I know this is a general reading. I just, 
I like, to, I'm feeling a feminine energy off this card. So, um, you know, this could be your own nurturance. It could be your own guidance, your own um, psyche, just that balance of peace and that loving energy flow. That's what you want to feel this month. That's what you are um, wanting. You're, you really want that in your life. It's like a sense of peace and harmony um, to this queen. She's, you know, she's funny. She's loving. She's caring and she's nurturing. So if that resonates a little bit, that could be you or that could be someone around you. It could be someone you're traveling with. Are going to see and travel. Um, this could be someone that you're getting together with. Um, doesn't necessarily have to be, um, you know, a spouse. It could be a spouse. Um, it could be that also. But as far as love and romance, I think if you're in a relationship, an established bond, I think the energy is great. It's loving. It's happy. Um, up here in your crowning energies, I had to pull a few cards for clarity on this, but you received the sun and the five of swords. And that is, you, the sun is happiness. The sun is enlightenment. The sun could also be letting you get in touch with your inner child um, as you go forward in the uh, month. It's really illumination. And it's what is your bliss? What is your happiness? What is making you really feel good and creative and like you have a spark? Um, it's those things we do every day that we love to do, right? It could be everybody's so different, right? But I, I just came to me like it could be watering your plants or really taking in the, um, the beauty of growing plants or nature. I don't know why that came to me, but I have to give it because it's a message for somebody. Um, and for others, it could be, you know, you might want to still meditate, use your spiritual practices. It could be some initiative to get walking, good weather, um, depending where you live. But you're balancing out a five of sword energy, which, um, you know, there could be some harsh communication with somebody or like the battle. Um, like I said in the beginning, you're just you're so done with drama and um, you just don't want to even look it in the face anymore. And you just want to be happy and enjoy and balance. But I think what happens when the five is that in a crowning energy, I feel like that you might be having some residual from somebody. Not in this sense of the reading, but that kind of like you're thinking about something that's already transpired and took place. And it could reignite itself a little bit. But um, you don't want to have really anything to do with it. You have the justice card here when I pulled for clarity. And this is balance. This is to balance your own energies, people around you. You want to keep um, any type of sharp words or any um, hostile or feeling of... You don't want to hear it, right? This could be talking about other people back and forth. Um, you just want to balance the good energy. Um, for some of you, this could be related to a work situation. Um, you know, and you're just concentrating on focusing. The Three of Pentacles is giving, you know, could be financial. It's to receive a little bit more money, yes, but it's also to, in these cards, to really um, enjoy the fruits of your labor, right? You're you're enjoying the happiness in the sun and the four of wands and the feeling of enlightenment and happiness and peace. So you don't want any energy that's um, going to come at you. You're going to avoid it. That's what I feel. You're just going to say, you know what? No, I'm in a good place. I'm the new me. I'm going to be truthful, be honest, speak my peace and just, I don't want to speak any more of my peace. I just want to get along to go along type energy. And your efforts pay off, I believe, for this reading anyway. Um, so I think I've covered most of that. I pulled your angel guidance. So here was your angel guidance card. This is what the angels ask of you for the month of February, Libra. It's what you desire. So you have the opportunity to write a script according to your heart's true desires. You're, you're clearly deciding upon your true desire and know that you're ready and deserving of them. They'll rush into your life as if it's by magic. And I think that truly goes with this reading because that's what you're asking for here. So what is your desire? Is it travel? Is it more money? Is it good friends, good company, good family? 
Is it nurture your children, your responsibilities? Um, which is it for you? I just feel like it really ties in with the reading. This is interesting that you receive this um, oracle. I pulled an angel and an oracle. You receive the card of dreams. And I'm going to read you just a little bit of the book, and you can see how that resonates for you. This is a deep card. It's a very um, complicated kind of card, but I'm going to read it to you because it's for you. Okay. The dream card signifies that now may be a time to make a significant decision or rethink your direction and make some changes, which, however small, could lead to larger things. The inclusion of dreams in any equation can make the difference between a good decision and a great one. Beware of the power and potential that this card invites you to explore. By investing your time a little differently and daring to dream, in the words of Sarah Bond, Breathnark. I hope I spoke. I, I hope that was correct, guys. The world needs dreamers, and the world needs doers. But above all, the world needs dreamers who do. Isn't that interesting for this reading? So I leave you with that, Libra. Um, have a great month, everybody. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos. Um, as soon as I hit a cup, I think as soon as I hit two thousand subscribers.